Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining us. Uh, this is a two bedroom special design that was requested by a loyal viewer, Lenny Beckford. So let us see if we can just get right into it. I promise I will do a quick and, uh, as I say, a quick and dirty sketch up of what a, a two bedroom, two bathroom um, unit could possibly be, it could possibly look like. So here we are, we're going to use the usual 10 by 12 bedroom and we're going to go with your bathroom here. My bathrooms are usually are usually six by eight. So we're going to just go here, six by eight. Now we are going to put that second bathroom right onto the, onto the first one and we do that for convenience, the plumbing of convenience. We can have both bathrooms right here. So you will have the minimal plumbing when it comes to plumbing of both bathrooms. So we, if we put them side by side, we'll just grab another bedroom and just put it right here. Uh, and again, it is going to be 12 by 10. Okay, so now we got those two down. We're, gonna, we're just going to uh, get your living room and we start your living room right here. The living room is going to be about 10 feet wide. That's a pretty decent width for a living room. And, and then let's just carry it down there a little bit. 10 feet wide. We grab the end here and we carry it down. Just do it. The original was 26 and he liked what he had. He just wanted a single uh, an extra bathroom. So here we are. Six, 26 by 10 and that's basically it. Now let's just grab you a hallway and stick it right here. And we're just going to adjust that and here we have your hallway now we could use this l-shaped section here as your veranda or your patio and yeah that's that's basically it easy and and quick and dirty as they say now that is your basic two bathroom two bedroom open concept i presume that what is and let's continue here for a second here we are we have your automatic um, dimension which is pretty decent for this program now I presume that the reason for asking for a second bedroom is that you all you want to have a bedroom coming off your bath master your bathroom coming off your master bedroom to turn it into a master suite so we are just going to go here with your let's see, hit it with a floor plan here and uh, we're just going to put in your doors to get this whole thing going. So here we are, we're going to have a door that's going to come in here. This door is going to come from this hallway right here directly into what will be presumably the master suite. The master suite is generally at the front of the house. Now here is the bathroom for the master suite and that's we're going to have that coming right here. Now we're going to have another bathroom right here. Now we're going to have another bathroom. This, this bathroom here is going to be the common bathroom in case you have guests and it will also be the bathroom for this bedroom. Now here's your door to get into this bedroom right here. Now uh, we are going to put a door right here and I'll tell you why in a minute. But before we do that, let's just grab another door and put it over here. All right, so the reason we put this door right here is because we are going to use this entire section here as your kitchen area. And if you have a door somewhere in this wall, it is going to interrupt the flow. There is no way you're going to be able to put enough cabinets. And a lot of people do like a lot of cabinets in, uh, in their kitchen area. So let us, if, you know, grab your windows and put them here. So I'm going to put a window right here. Um, and you know what? You could put another window right here. Uh, okay, so we're going to have a window midpoint in your bedrooms uh, because that gives the maximum light. Just put another window here, and this one will take care of lighting going into your kitchen area, into your living room area, and your dining room area. And just to brighten up the dining room area, I'm just going to put another another window right here. And that's essentially it. Now, we are going to take out this wall and here is why this wall here is a very long wall and uh, you could put a door but that is really not the ideal situation so let's just grab this for a minute take that wall out and now what we're going to do instead is grab a wall tool um, put a wall here a second da, 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 da. Oh, 
that's not working. Uh, okay, let's do this one more time. Okay, let me grab this here, the wall tool here, and pull pull a wall here. Now this this entrance, this break here is wide enough to get your all your furniture again going in here and here and so on and so forth. But it also goes straight up to the ceiling, so it is not a doorway as much as it is an entrance way, if you get what I mean. And what this does now is to give you a hallway here where you can have closets and shelves and so on to store linen and all that. Apart from, you know, having your linen and your closet inside of your bedroom. So that is a quick and dirty way of getting a two bedroom into this uh, rather small space. And it does fit into the what he wanted that um, his space was 32 by something. I don't remember what that was. But this is a quick and easy two bedroom, two bathroom living, open concept living and dining area. Okay, let's put the roof back on so you can see what it looks like. There you are. Beautiful. And uh, now let's see. Um, we're going to just hit the rendering a little bit, see what it looks like here. And okay, that's what it's going to look like basically. Of course, with a nine with nine feet foot walls, you can put a flat roof. You do not have to put gable roof on. And flat roofs are easier, cheaper, and you know, if you decide to put a second story on, they are easier to remove. So all right, we're going to do a quick fly around this whole thing and let you get a basic idea of what it looks like just going around it. And see, this is what it looks like, basically. So it's not all that bad. It's quick and easy, and quick and easy and dirty, as they say. This will be the front part of your house. This is the section here. You can just put your var under right here and you are good to go. Well, thanks for watching. Glad you could make it here and special again this is a special request from Lenny Beckford and we said we would do it in about half an hour. Well there we are. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. I'm just saying my piece and thanks for watching.